I'm like, oh. <laughs> You know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to every single one of y'all out there. Happy Thanksgiving, you know what I'm saying? It's today slash last night for the people who are gonna catch this in the morning or if this comes out in the morning, whatever the case may be. Yo, check this out, bro. Clean paper. <laughs> Shout out to him first and foremost. Every time I think he can't set the bar, he goes a little bit more far, you know what I'm saying? This is the sergeant of the no-shows, you know what I'm saying? This is the the, the boss of the backouts, you know what I'm saying? The, the ran off on the plug twice, three times, etc., etc. He had a battle tonight on uh, Caps, Salute the Caps and everything that he's got going on, Angry Fan. He had Anger Management, it was a card, right, where you put together, it was a virtual card. A virtual card. These niggas battled online, bro. Like, literally online. So he's doing something where he's giving back to the community. And as a blogger, to see another blogger, like, giving back, setting up battles and shit like that, trying to provide some entertainment, you would think that this is going to be something that's going to be so simple and it can be done easily. Now, I ain't going to lie. I don't remember all the battles on the card. I know uh, T-Top battled against Swave. T-Top had a pretty good verse, you know what I'm saying? Swave was like... He was like rapping in the dark and he was reading and shit. You could tell he was reading because he was messing up the lines. And I cut my phone off. I'm not gonna lie. Why, Sway? It is what it is. I cut that shit off. I was like, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what the fuck you rapping about. And it's in the dark. Niggas can't see your face. You halfway on the screen. You halfway off the screen. You like dark Vader and shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck you got going on. But T Top won. And that was a good opportunity for you to get some light and some acclaim versus a big name battler. T Top smoked you. Right? Boom. Moving on. That was the last joint. Slugs, Christmas is coming. And wifey says she want a bear skin rug. I'm hunting. Yeah. You youngins hate when the OG speak, but I'm just trying to school you thugs. Keep thinking your punches hit harder than Draymond and end up in a school in a pool of blood. I'm a killer. My past, I have you mortified. See, when I die, I'll be immortalized for reasons. Pull up, please. Get out of here. Get out of <laughs> he no showed a virtual battle. I have never seen anything like this. Now, Caps, I blame you because I don't even know why you was booking this nigga to begin with. The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like disrespect. That's and you know his history of no shows because I did a blog when he no showed. I think it was uh, it was fucking he no showed so many goddamn people. I can't even remember. But it was uh, I think it was Geechee. I, he no showed him the first time. They battled eventually, but. I blogged about it, and he got in his feelings, clean did. And who has this nigga on their show? Caps, brings the nigga on his show, let him say whatever he wants in the world about me. I never watched it, but I know it did some views. I heard about it. So I was thinking, I always put these things in my head, like, okay, you know what, that's cool. Nigga, get your views, get your money, yada, yada, yada. But I know he gonna do it again. I knew he was gonna do it again, and Caps, karma don't miss an address. You booked this nigga, and he no showed you. The shit was funny, and it was all the laughs that I needed. I definitely laughed at the fact that he wasn't there, and I laughed at you for booking him. Washed. They did him just like that, you hear that? That's the lawnmower. We still cutting the grass out here with these snake ass niggas. We still cutting the grass. You know what I'm saying? That's what you hearing. But yeah, he got chopped all the way up. Because I was like, yo, <laughs> Carmen don't miss an address. You thought you was cool enough with that nigga for him not to do it to you. Oh, okay, you not, you, you wanted, <laughs> you don't learn from other people's mistakes. You, you got to have it happen to you for you to learn. Put him on the show again. I want you to bring him up again. Bring that nigga on the show again and ask him why he did this shit to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you let him, when, when I said something about it, Oh, he got was everything in the world. He let him come up. He let Quantum come up with his 17-year-old girlfriend and talk crazy. They let these niggas say anything about me. I would never let artists. Like, if an artist came on my shit, I would never let them sit there and just down no blog and talk crazy. I just change the subject. Nah, he ain't gonna change the subject. Let him do it. Just go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burn me down. That was a couple years ago. I don't even remember. I would have put some of the video in here, but it ain't significant enough for me to click this shit. So I wasn't gonna go get it and put the video all in here. And, like, remember when he said this? I remember it was said. I believe what we talking about. This is whole shit, man. I do. You know what I mean? And I was cool with it because I was like, one day it's going to come back around. And boy, oh boy, I'm watching the stream. I'm, I, I'm, I'm sitting up. I see all the people online, Twitter. They talking their shit. Battles is going on. 
when they brought this nigga, when I seen Clean Name on the fly, I said, oh shit. I said, oh shit. I started coaching him in the back of my mind. I started go. I was like, he ain't gonna ghost this nigga. He ain't gonna ghost caps. I know he ain't gonna do it. Bro, the nigga ghosted him. This nigga was nowhere to be found. To the point where he had to ask Quantum. The nigga asked Quantum. The nigga, the nigga caps asked Quantum during the motherfucking stream, where's clean paper? And the nigga clean paper, the nigga Quantum says, oh, this is what he do every time. He's oh, yo, 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 hold on, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Your QP hit up clean, bro. Man, I did. He not answering me. Like, bro, he, he he did what he do to the league owners. Talk to me all the way up to the battle. Then the battle start. That's it. Then, then the slap pass. <laughs> so this this how it's supposed to work. The slap pass that you sent them. He, oh, he going on 750. So he like around 830. He could be cool. Nah, it's still going on. So he hiding until the event end. Then he'll pop out. Feel me? Go live tomorrow. And then that's what that's going to be. Like, nigga, that's crazy. Oh, I, man. Yo, I, hey, yo, clean. Hey, yo, clean. Hey, yo, clean. Hey, yo, clean. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Clean. I hear you. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm yeah. bro. I'm not these league owners. I'm telling you now, bro. Like, all right. Don't do it. If yo ass. <laughs> Stay in contact with me all the way to the battle come. Then the nigga disappears. Then the nigga disappears. What the fuck? <laughs> then he disappears, and you won't hear about him until tomorrow. Oh no, no, no. Bring him on your show and let him do to you what he did to when it was me calling him out. I want you to call him out and bring him on your show and let him do this. I remember, oh man, Clean was talking crazy. Oh man, invite me to a fight. I bet you I won't miss that. Mind you, I'm 240, 250 at the time. And this nigga weighed like 101 pounds with a brick in his hand. He talking about he gonna beat me up. So I was laughing because I was like, not only would I slam dunk this nigga, I would throw him between my legs before I do it. <laughs> What do you think? Oh my God! That you know what I'm saying? But I just was bugging because I was like, it's gonna come back around. It's gonna come back around. And that shit came right back around. And now, I, and Caps was hot. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Caps and everything he got going on. I know you was hot with thousands of people in the stream just commenting like, oh, he ain't here, he ain't here, he no showing, he no showing, woo woo woo. That nigga no showed you. See, you gotta, but you gotta learn firsthand. You can't learn. See, if I, if I'm a hustler, right, and I and I hear this nigga done ran off with a zip from him, ran off with a pound from them, ran off with an ounce from them. Why would I front him some work? You fronted that nigga work knowing that he was potentially gonna run off on you, and he ran off on you. And I I ain't gonna lie. I ain't cool with the fact that you got ran off on, your money got lost and shit like that. But the lesson learned, oh, I laughed my ass off. I would not sit here. Who would I be to sit here and tell you that I didn't laugh at that? Especially when I was scrolling. I mean, this is a couple years ago. I'm scrolling my timeline. Clean paper, bombs on fire. I see this big ass title in the video like 20 minutes long. All because I said he didn't know show. When the nigga didn't show up. <laughs> and this ain't the first time. The nigga didn't show, the nigga didn't no show so much, he should be in the Hall of Fame for no showing. If there was a logo for no showing, backing out about it, this nigga would be the logo, the imprint, and he had him on the channel talking about me. I couldn't fucking believe. Bring him on your show and let him explain to you why he did that to you. That's all I, that's all I want. You know what I'm saying? I just want that. Please, get the nigga on the show. I, I want, I want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Let him, he can burn me down again. I'm cool with it. But the fact that he no showed you is gonna be some shit that you're not gonna be able to get around. Because even if he battled whoever, I don't even know who he was supposed to battle, honestly. If he battles tomorrow, it doesn't matter what's supposed to happen today. So you already got played. You already got played. Bring him up. Caps, bring this nigga on the show, please. I beggeth of you. Bring this nigga on the show and let him explain to you why he played you. Carmen don't miss an address, you know what I'm saying? So the next time. You want to bring one of these artists up on your show and let them talk crazy about us. When they burn your ass down, just know we are going to be laughing at it because I did not miss any laughs today. But uh, shout out to Angry Fan because they did have some more battles on the joint. Uh, Danny Myers had battled a nigga named Battle Rap Facts. Now, I never heard of him. They said he's a blogger, but I haven't, I mean, I don't know. I haven't heard of him. Maybe my ear is not to the street enough. Whatever the case may be, it could be what it is. The nigga Danny lost. Are you fucking kidding me, Danny? What the fuck did I fucking tell you? Golly, bro. This nigga lost to a blogger, bro. Yes, he lost to a fucking blogger. Danny, you lost to a blogger, nigga.
Yes, nigga. Ugh. Get it. Yes, nigga. Ugh. That's where your career is at right now, nigga. This nigga lost to a fucking blogger, son. Are you kidding me? Who is, who's, who? <laughs> I keep telling y'all, who the fuck is managing Danny, yo? The nigga needs some help, bro. He not on Homecoming. He not on Chrome. He not on fucking Queen of the Ring. He ain't on none of these leagues. But the nigga online losing to a fucking blogger. Now, I'm a blogger too, so I ain't, ain't really not no rap about that. I ain't saying it in a bad connotation like the nigga's a bad dude because he's, you know, he's a blogger. But the nigga was walking Danny down online in a virtual battle. Danny, this is why your career is here and it ain't going to get here. You're not going to get loaded lux battling niggas on Thanksgiving for $100 online, my nigga. And I know what you do, the sport is the sport, it's the sport. I mean, sometimes that sport shit gotta get out the way. Sometimes you have to say, fuck this sport, I gotta get to this money. You shouldn't even been up there. And you got smoke. And it was Gwitty battling against uh, Rio, I don't even, Rio, Rio's the nigga name, nigga, nigga, Rio. Gwitty chokes in the battle, or stumbles, or whatever the case choked. And the nigga Cavs called the nigga out like, yo, I ain't paid for that, I ain't eating that shit, B. Overall, very entertaining night. Uh, D.I. the Hennyman battle quantum physics. That was probably the best battle of the night. Like, I feel like, I kind of feel like D.I. the Hennyman got it. You know what I'm saying? Because I liked his material a little bit more than I like Quantum's, but that's just my personal opinion. And if there was any other battles I didn't see him, I was in and out because it was uh, Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, damn it. You're battling and losing to a fucking blogger. And I'm saying that as one, nigga. Like, you can't... <laughs> niggas in the NBA are not going to lose to Stephen A. Smith in a game of one-on-one. -on -one. You're supposed to be the pro. There is no reason why I should even be saying that you lost. You know what I'm saying? Because the poll had it fucking 57 to 43 for the other dude. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, man. It was a crazy night. Funny night in battle rap, man, but yeah, uh, Clean Paper set some um, no-show history, and I'm going to blog about it again. Tell him to put him on the show and let him talk about me again after he no-showed him. You know what I'm Because, I, Caps, I'm defending you, you know what I'm saying? Cause just like I was talking about the other league when he no-showed them, you know, but... I guess he found it good enough, like, well, you know, Vada's talking about him, so let me bring the nigga up here and let him respond. That's cool. Now, let him respond to no show of you. That's the only thing I ask. And I, I, I'm promoting the event. It was called Anger Management 2. I'm sure the battles will drop on Angry Fans' YouTube channel. Uh, shout out to Harlem Legend. You know what I'm saying? They was going, he was going back and forth with the artists. I seen Mac Mel up there. Uh, Zan was up there for a little minute. I was in and out. Once I, once I knew Clean Paper was no showing, made my night I'm not gonna lie cuz I said now you got to be in a position to do the same thing to him that he did to you I ain't gonna lie I said now let me see how it goes you paid him how much did you pay that nigga I want <laughs> how much did you pay that man go find that man B go find that man and don't come back till you find that man B and nigga yo he literally a virtual dude <clears throat> bro the nigga didn't have to do nothing but press the button on his phone and rap some raps, my nigga. He could have rapped a mixtape verse. The nigga didn't even answer the phone. He ain't even <laughs> The nigga clean missed his virtual flight. He didn't get his e-plane ticket to virtually fly into there. Now I blame this on you. I, I, yo, Caps, what's up with the booking? Y'all niggas ain't book his flight? This is the same shit he was saying with the other league. What league was that? Was that... Who the fuck he did that shit to recently where he said he was at the airport and he wanted a day flight, but it wasn't a day flight. He couldn't get a night flight and he went back home and he's supposed to get the airport. Did he miss his virtual flight to the event is all I want to know, you know? I don't personally have beef with any of these artists, but my thing is I do remember everything. I remember. So when a nigga sit up there and talk crazy because you said something about them no showing an event and then you gave him money? Do you know the nigga history? Oh my god. <laughs> he said, fuck your call. I ain't gonna be there. And it was 2,000 people in the live all watching this shit go on. That's crazy. But I must say, uh, shout out to Caps, phenomenal blogger. You know what I'm saying? He keeps the shit going on a day to day basis. Uh, he put together a battle card. There was a couple joints on there. Like I said, the D.I. to Henny Man versus Quantum Physics is definitely a battle that's worth checking out. And I'm sure he'll drop them joints in a, in a, in a speedy manner, uh, quicker than uh, Clean Paper backed out of the shit. 
And I like the fact that he stood up to Gwitty as far as with the choking. When Gwitty was choking and shit, he called that nigga out. Nigga, I ain't pay for that. I ain't eating that beef. I ain't paying that. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Gwitty. <laughs> the nigga Gwitty. Bro, this is how I knew it was going to be a funny night, man. The nigga Gwitty tells the nigga on the live that he wrote this shit and learned it two hours ago. I say, yeah, this is going to be a great night. Because I follow Gwitty on Instagram because he's a very entertaining dude. So when they go live, his, his little shit is lighting up. So I'm on my timeline. I see Gwitty live. I click. He's like, yeah. Now I'm saying it's snare, snare. He's talking the shit. He's talking. I, I, I don't even write for these niggas. I wrote it two hours ago. I said, yeah, I got to see this battle. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to watch this joint. He choked. You know what I'm saying? The nigga he rapped up against was rapping till like next Thanksgiving. The nigga round was like 20 minutes long. He was the filler killer. I don't know. It was all filler, you know what I'm saying? But he won, but it was all filler. The nigga Danny Myers battle, uh, battle rap facts, he beat him because Danny Myers is choking in the end of his round. I'm like, why is this nigga choking against a nigga online? Swave lost because he's reading his bars. You can literally see the light shining off his fucking face and he's in the dark like Mr. Like fucking Doom and shit. I'm like, it's a virtual battle. Niggas ain't got no lights. Niggas ain't got no lights around there. They couldn't see nothing. Nigga battling outside in the dark. I ain't know what it was. Nigga looked like fucking uh, uh, Two-Face, Harvey Dent in the middle of Gotham looking for Batman. This shit was wild. Um, clean, I'm, I appreciate it. Shout out to you. Because you are the reason why I was able to make this vlog. Because when I remember when you was online so mad at me a couple of years ago, Caps was like one of the only people that would give you a platform for you to talk your shit. And you did it. Now the shoe is on the other foot. I need the same energy. I need the same energy. Please, that's all I ask. Just do the same thing to him because the world needs to see it. You know what I'm saying? Book him again. Book him for the next car because I need another laugh. I bet you, I bet you won't book that nigga no more. I bet you won't book him no more. I, you know what his, his, his excuse is going to be? He going to say, yo, you know what I'm saying? Look, dog, look, dog. My phone died, right? And I went to go get a charger, but then I got hit by a parked car on the way to the store to get a charger. Then when I got to the store, it was closed because it was Thanksgiving. But I'll do the battle again, but you got to fly me and four of my friends to Honolulu first, where we're going to stop, get a pedicure, and then we'll fly back, and I might be able to do it. <laughs> Yo, happy Thanksgiving to anybody. Caps, I totally appreciate the event. Thank you so much. The laughs, I needed them. I, I'm, I swear, you guys provided some great laughs today. It was a couple good battles sprinkled here and there, but that clean paper shit is fucking hilarious. Thank you. I'm out of here. Gang. I'm like, oh. <laughs>